Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Caleb and I'm back with another commentary video. This time, it is about NCT Dream and their latest repackaged first album, Hello Future. Some bit of what I know about NCT Dream, they are the third subunit of the, the band NCT under SM Entertainment that started in 2016 as a teenage unit and with a admission graduation system in which the members would move on from the unit after reaching the age, the Korean age of 20 or 19 internationally. Um, but in last year, they decided to rebrand and eliminate this, um, this system with the graduated member Mark to return to the group as to make it a seven piece. And you know, they have been, since then, they have uh, become legal of doubt and are an actual unit, fixed unit under NCT. They actually released their first studio album Hot Sauce on the May 10th this year with all seven members with um, this album pre-orders surpassing a million copies which was a whole new peak for them and the album topped the Gaon album chart and became the first single to peak at number one on a Gaon digital chart. And so with Hello Future, they are actually re-releasing -re this first studio album, which includes three new tracks, including Hello Future, Live is Still Going On, and Bungie. And before this uh, music video drop, they have released several uh, of a teaser kind of a video for Life Is Still Going On and also performed Hello Future like a part of it in the Music Bank first half special. So without further ado, I'm just going to get into Hello Future. I got into their music as of late with NCT's um, group comeback as a re with Resonance last year and their subunits with NCT U, um, Make A Wish, uh, 90s Love, Work It, and then so with NCT Dream this time, I'm like, wow, I've, my first time hearing them, like these members um, doing music like under this subunit, and I really love Hot Sauce, and the other song on the album, which is uh, called My Youth, also my favorite song, but I'm gonna be watching the music video for Hello Future and going through the album track list and you know, hopefully you'll be stick with me on this ride and hopefully you know even whatever songs that you enjoy do let me know in the comment section below um, and what you think of this new era and what they have to offer for in the future without further ado let's get into hello future i love the cgi that sm does they really know how to do it well as you know mark with the rap mm -mm. I love his vocal. I, I'm sorry, I can't remember his exact name, but... And then... Him too. And Jamin. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love this beat. It's really... It kind of follows with hot sauce. The colors remind me a lot of like Treasures, My Treasure music video. But it's definitely more hard hitting. Yeah, I... I my impression of hearing just this chorus, I actually thought it was going to be more ballad-like but definitely they're giving me more punchy pop vibes especially with the rap interspersed in the song Yeah, G song Oh, I love this syncopated beat dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah, Ren Jin, sorry Ren Jin is a really good vocalist I love his, song, his vocal on Hot Sauce and this too and definitely, they're killing you with the styles, the, the, the styling. Finally, you can hear more of Jimin's rap. I I like NG oh, song, yes. Whoever just hit the high note. Oh, so catchy, the chorus. It's so SM, the, the chord progression. Very like red velvet also. But it's, it fits their youthful sound. The Shan, right? I think his name. Oh, that vocal. Oh my gosh. Come on, man. Oh, this outro. 
they got their choreos on point. I love these tie-dye colors that I'm seeing. Didn't disappoint me at all. It's as upbeat. It it pretty much actually even for me it tops hot sauce in a sense. Even though hot sauce it's I would say it's more poppy than this song. Easier to get into, more accessible for the Western public to get into than this song. But having hot sauce and then following with this perfect combo, I think it was a good direction on SM's part. Um, yeah, I love the music video. I love the treatment of it and the actual song. Let's get into the track list itself. We have Bungie, we have Hot Sauce, Diggity, Life is Still Going On, Dive Into You, My Youth, Rocket, Countdown, 3, 2, 1, ANL, Irreplaceable, Be There For You, Rainbow. Most of these songs were on the previous album. I'm just gonna listen to them again. Of, the, of course, um, I have listened to several of them before, um, but of course, finally can give some thoughts about it in this video. Let's go with Bungie. All right, with that snapping. I love that how they know how to intersperse vocals with the uh, rap. So rich and so diverse. They found a gem with these three tracks. Let's be honest here. I'm glad they packaged it. It definitely fits into this era of songs for them. Excuse me with that high vocal. What? I said it's just like, I can imagine them in the studio, it's just like, just give your vocal rights. Do what you can. <laughs> Come on with the vocals. They have a very good band as a group, even though they're a subunit, but it's so perfect. The way they blend so well together. Actually, they, their iconic part is that they sing the choruses together without fail and somehow sounds so tight. The mix at least. Oh my goodness. Come on. Hard air lips, man. Love that. These three songs. Wow. Wow. It's so good. Like, come on. Uh, SM really... SM really found... found the right thing for this group. You know, like this right image, right write everything for them like wow i gotta give her credit where it's due right sm entertainment they made the right choice to keep them as a group and not make it a graduation system because they have found a good match a good synergy for this group and they should stick with it they should stick with it right now let's get into hot sauce it, since there's a music video i'm gonna be watching the actual music video and talking about it so Let's see how it goes. I watched it already, but yeah, just gonna give my sense of it. To be honest, this this front part, the hot sauce, keep it dipped, and eh, all this, I kind of wasn't keen on it because of how nasally it sounded. But somehow, over many listens, I just got into it. I have no, I'm not sure how or why. It's just every every other part of the song kind of just mixed. It's worth it. I don't know. Actually, the build up, Renjin, the vocals here, and Hei Chan, oh my god, and Shanda. And the point choreography, come on, man. And then this part. And I don't know, maybe it made me appreciate this part more because when I was watching the behind the scenes of how they recorded this, and wow, the layering they took, they got every member to do a low part, high part, and middle part, and all that, nasally parts, and, and put it all together. Oh, the mix, man. It makes me appreciate it so much more. That's for sure. And I love that they have this duality where they have like two members singing together, it's been the build up. And then this harmonizing. Come on, G Song. He couldn't, he, he couldn't promote with the group for Work It. In uh, for last year, NCTU, and I was so hoping to see how what he was like. And this was my first time, my first time seeing him, and I was like, wow. This part, Gino, he wow, the low note. Oh come on, man. 
And then the high note here with H. Uh... This part reminds me of Hot Wheels, I don't know, the colors. Very Hot Wheels inspired. And then Jam the look for Jamin with the dark eyeliner, black shirt, gloves. And typically his, his typical suit is like the, you know, the suit and then the um, formal wear. Yeah, like the one here, like yeah. What a priceless song. One of the best songs this year, so far, at least in my in my book. Yeah, um, let's get on to the next song, Diggity. Like I told you, I, I only listened to several songs, so of course, like, ooh. Oh, I'm kind of disappointed why I didn't listen to this song before. And I'm actually liking it. I'm liking the sound. But it follows from Hot Sauce very well. Oh, I love the layering. Oh, wow, the vocal run there. Oh, come on, this. I love it. Wow. It's really good, really good. I'd love to sh see how the three new tracks fit into the album. Like, because although they are all placed consecutively, that means the three new tracks first and then the actual original first album. But I would still like to see how, it, how they're able to Melt it all together. I love the rap. Mark is good. Let's use his versatility with speaking English. He and Gino, right? Unreal. And then with Jisung with his uh, vocal slash singing slash rap sound. Oh, uh, I think it's Renjun or yeah, I think Renjun. And then Hei Chan. First time I heard this part in the that teaser track, I was very iffy about it because I don't know, I find it a bit cheesy. Like the fact that they're following the actual notes in the instrumental sounds a bit cheesy for me. But I kind of get it how it sounds very it's a cook and it's catchy. Oh come on with the bass and then with the rap. I like with even with the uh, delay and then you know punchy rhythm that Jisung was saying, the xylophone was also following him along. That is perfection. Uh, Renjun, Chen Le, and Hei Chan, also a good trio in the vocal department. I'm guessing that these are the team members singing at that point in time based on the voices. I'm not actually looking at the line distribution. Oh, the vocal runs in the ad -libs. Wow, come through. Wow, this is a good B-side. I'm also, I'm downloading this too. Wow, the vocal run, come on. Like they couldn't do it any better in Hot Sauce and Hell Future, wow. Hey chan man, in Save, the NCT 127 one, and with NCT Dream, Wow. Wow. I love that they gave him that, that chance to shine there. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful song. All right, now we get with Dive Into You. Hmm. Definitely eases well this song into my youth because I know that song already. I like the doom 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 Interesting Hmm Very soft song I kinda like it Um Let's get into My Youth I What I love about this song is The strings, the plucking at the bottom At the underlying instrumental I love that Cause I'm a violinist myself so I really do like that and then with the punchy 
singing. It's usually the uh, falsetto notes. Very nostalgic sound, which is also something I'm very into. A bit of like uh, No Good Reason by Everglow. This sound. And then I like with this chorus again, they kind of have it a bit more layered. Actually, it's the more plucking you can hear in the background. And then this guitar being like um, constant strumming, steady strumming to build up. No doubt my, my favorite song from the album. Ah, now it's making me feel bad I didn't check out all the other songs because... Alright, it's very upbeat and catchy. Oh, I love that rap entering the chorus too. Now we go with Countdown. Yui, Yui tones. Darker tones. Yes, Mark. Oh, I love this part. Then, and then you have this like um, techno beat in the background. And then the snap coming in. This gives me a bit of like 90s love, the sound. With the, the instrumentation. The, the hip hop beat, I guess. All right, we go with A and L. All night long, right? Okay, that makes sense. Dang, so many hidden gems in this album that I didn't expect. I'll be sure to download these ones for sure. Ooh, love that song. Now we go with Irreplaceable. I guess it's more like a. I'm guessing the last three tracks will be more nostalgic. Ji Sung, he's something about his voice. It's like there's this. Um, how do I put it? Roughness to the voice, the sandiness of the voice that is so iconic, so unique to him. Oh, I love this very ballad sounding part of the bridge. Mm. Oh, the high note. Ooh. So much things going on in this one section. Mm. Very catchy. We'll go to the last second song on the track on the album, Be There For You. Oh, definitely ballad focused and dreamy like, I guess. Ooh, very romantic track, huh? Very melancholy. I think this the three uh, Chenla, Chenla, He Chan, and Ren Jun a really, really big chance of shine in this track. I love the keep creeping in of like guitar strumming. And now we head on to the last track, Rainbow. Seems more upbeat than Be There For You. Uh, I think it's like a common thread with K-pop albums and their last song, right? Yes, it's, it's very slow and melancholic, but they kind of lead into like a, it's kind of like Goodbye I'll See You Again kind of a song. So it's like, a, it's an inspirational, aspirational sounding song. Characterized by like high notes and a very airy kind of a sound. I like when they all sing together, it's so impactful and atmospheric. I like this syncopated beat that Hei Chan is singing with. Overall, this album, I have to say, it's really good. Um, I mean, this is my first time listening to the album as a whole and I realized, wow, how well it's been pieced together, everything. 
um yeah and i have nothing but nothing but good things to say about it and clearly you know sm got this group you know the image really right and their synergy with rappers vocalists together their point choreographies um yeah i'm really hoping to see them you know kill it in their next album uh, i think they're probably going to focus on doing nct use and um actual and actual nct album probably um but i really do hope to hear more from them and oh wow um this synergy in the tracks is really what keeps me you know hooked on their sound um with that said um i wanted to do a bit of like a showcase stage reaction but um as of now they have yet to do an actual performance of the song on a music show so i other than the KBS special which i did watch and i think it's really amazing to check it out yourself um yeah i'm hoping to see them perform this song on award shows as well and do let me know uh, what's your favorite songs on this album um what do you know about NCT Dream that i didn't mention in my video um and what you do love which member you love the most do let me know as well um with that said thank you very much and i'll catch you on the next one